All right, here at auction we have our uh, beautiful all original 1994 Ford F-150. It's the extended cab short bed, a four by four, a full XLT package. It's 100% all original paint, never had any accidents or paint work. Uh, it's always been a Washington state where we don't use any salt on the roads. Uh, we've got pretty mild climate, so uh, it keeps the interiors and the bodies and the original paint in really nice condition. Um, it's, we got the Marty report for it, everything. It's got a bunch of original brochures and documentation with it. Um, but the truck is, uh, I think only like 214 trucks came with this paint code, but it's dark metallic green uh, with the Oxford white two-tone. All these are the original pinstripe. That's, uh, you know, one of the reasons you always know these trucks have the original paint because this is a one-piece pinstripe that was manufactured by Ford and they stopped making them back when they stopped building these trucks. So, uh, generally, usually if they do any type of paint work, what they'll have to do is lay down like a, a dark stripe and then another stripe over the top of it but you feel it it's nice and smooth also on the gas doors no tape lines along with the door jams and we've been all around this truck so uh but it's got uh really nice original paint really nice shine to it it's got the factory alcoa wheels the uh, it's only got 115,000 miles the it's got 31 inch bfg ko's that ride real nice and fill the wheel wells up nice um i'm not sure if these are on the Marty report, it says wheel well and body side molding, so I'm not sure if these are original. Um, but if they're not your thing, the cool thing about it is, is they don't come way up on the fenders and they don't come up on the body. They're just on the very bottom, so you could take this all off and sell them or store them. And then you could just put the original. You can see it doesn't even come up above the body line. The, the, uh, the XLT trim, uh, the, the stainless, it comes all the way up to this body line, so if there was anywhere in the paint, you just put the factory trim over, and you can get those from LMC Truck for they're like 90 bucks for a set of four, so it's a killer deal. So, uh, Truck's also got the painted in, the insets in the grill, which is always a really nice touch. I mean, overall, this is just a killer truck. It was purchased new at Evergreen Ford, uh, which is just uh, about 20 miles uh, away from Seattle and a little bit east. You look at all the lights, there's no condensation, really nice clear headlights. No aging or fogging. Good color to the corner lights. All the bumpers got really nice trim. The valance isn't pulled away. You know, you got a little minor scuff, something like that. But uh, there's no clear coat issues on any of the truck. Um, obviously, uh, this is kind of an era deal where a lot of these had the uh, visor. Um, you'll see on the, I got some roof pictures too, but the very top has some clear coat issues on just the visor, the roof. The original part of his truck doesn't. And then there's a couple areas on the running boards themselves. So it's only the uh, the parts that weren't painted on the assembly line. You know, you'll see a couple clear coats there. And uh, I'll take you around the other side. You know, I got lots of pictures. Here it all looks good, just some chips. Um, of the underside and everything like that. And uh, in the driving video, I'll have the tonneau cover rolled up and there'll be pictures of inside the bed, but it's 100% rust-free truck. So we'll start out in the front. You know, you do have some, you know, it's a dark color, so there is some scratches probably from somebody setting something on the hood. Even a cardboard box will do that. And there is, you know, a couple little, they're really hard to see, but if, when you wax the truck, you know, you get some dried wax and it'll sit inside these, uh, you know, little chip right there. Little imperfections. There's no chips or cracks in the window. The windshield, little chip there. Um, but there's these little like kind of like stars in the paint just a little kind of like age marks a little scratch But the paints really nice and smooth You know a couple small little areas just your kind of normal little wear and tear But there's not very many rock chips stone chips on the bottom. It's really nice smooth shiny paint You know a little bit of wear on the rocker, but these running boards have really protected it You, know, you got a couple little stone chips there You know some stone chipping on the uh running board itself a little chip a little chip but you look between the cab and the body it's just super clean i mean you can see there are factory ridge rivet marks that you usually can't see you know a little chip on the pin striping but you look you can see the paint the two-tone paint stripe um the top of the tent here does have a little bit of bubbling on the driver's side but all the rubbers are really nice it's got new door sweep rubbers you know a little fading on the black of the mirror Again, these trucks you can get two brand new mirrors to the door for 40 bucks. It's pretty amazing. Little surface rust on the metal. You know, you're going to have some side loading. 
little scratches and stuff. We'll go real slow here, but there is a bunch of photos of this stuff. Little chip. Uh, the tail lights are nice and clear, no condensation, nice red, just a little bit of fading. Got a little bit of pollen. It's kind of getting crazy around here. Top of the tailgate does have some little chips and scratches. Just uh, this kind of stuff kind of tends to happen to tailgates from loading stuff in. Um, it did have a, um, I said before, it didn't have any accidents in the Carfax, but it did have a accident in the Carfax I forgot about and uh, did this little bit of damage here. No paint work's been done um, and they replaced the bumper, obviously. But the good thing about this is, is you could, you know, it's a two-tone truck, which is great. So you could just have, if you're a real perfectionist, have this area fixed and painted and you don't gotta worry about the rest of the truck. Uh, it's not like you have to do a whole quarter panel or something. See some little scratches on the bottom of the tailgate, obviously. Bumper uh, moldings on the top is a nice shape. All the chrome's got good reflection to it. Never had a trailer package. Just got Flowmaster dual exhaust. You know, the chrome tips are a little bit rusty, but uh, they're pretty cheaply made. So inside the bed's nice. You can see all the screws are still in nice condition. Paint and all that stuff. You know, no really minimal wear inside here. So go nice and slow. Um, you can see the bed bolts are still nice and kind of aluminum looking. That's a best top tonneau cover. So alright, we're gonna go ahead and hop inside. Uh, it's got the gray interior. It's got the 40-40-20 seat, which well, this was the first year for it in 94. So what's nice about it is, is they sit a little bit different than the regular bench seats and the, the uh, bucket seat captain seats. They're not, they're a little bit more support. You know, you got a little storage cubby, you got the cup holders, but it also folds up. Um, for another passenger. Steering wheel is in amazing condition. A lot of people know these things will have kind of the sticky glue come through here, which you do not have on this truck. These start to pull and get kind of loose, but this is really nice and tight, almost nowhere on there. All the buttons throughout this entire truck are nice and clear, which kind of shows the, you know, the condition of it. It's got an aftermarket CD player. It's a non-smoker. You know, no cracks in the dash, headliners not sagging, not missing any pieces, you know, no cracks in the side pieces, you know, you might get a little bit of scuffs and stuff like that. You got a little crack right here, because this is, people will catch this, it's kind of just a horrible design. Most of the time these are missing, the other one's in good shape. But people will just catch this with their pants getting out and it's really common. I'm, we've done it ourselves and uh, I've replaced them twice in uh, my F-250 extended cab. But, uh, and this folds, uh, I haven't folded this seat, but if uh, if you want to, you can unfold it and it folds down to a tray. You see all the trim is in nice shape. I mean, everything on this truck works. Everything on this truck is intact. You can see the door jams are really nice and clean. I think I took you in the gas doors, just in case. But the wheels uh, is one thing that really stands out to me on this truck is the finish on them. I mean, they still look new. They still have that. A lot of these wheels will still be in good shape, and some of them won't be. They'll get that kind of hazy look. But not a lot of them have that bright mirror-like finish to them. Um, but, you know, you got these chips here. You know, running board's got some chips. You know, they're fiberglass running boards, so they're white underneath, obviously. You know, a little bit of entry wear, but really nothing, you know, do felts. Again, the window's a little bit faded, a little bit of, uh, I mean, the mirror's a little bit faded, a little bit of surface rust there. But other than that, just beautiful condition. It's deep, deep paint. Uh, hopefully you can see my reflection. There you go. But you can see it's not uh, foggy or cloudy or anything. Maybe even the hinge has still got that bright anodized look to it. You know, no tape lines, no paint work ever done. You know, a lot of times if they do get paint work, you'll get overspray throughout here, and you sometimes they, they'll paint these if they do the door jams. Uh, it's really cool. Comes with all, even comes with the original jack, jacket. Still got its book jacket too in there. All original books. Um, we got some nice weather check mats. You know, the carpet's uh, nice and gray still underneath, but got some pictures without them. You know, on the entry side of the driver's side, you'll probably see in the video it's a little darker just from you know. 25 plus years, but it comes with all some, some cool stuff. Um, it's got the, uh, you know, keyless entry, of course. You know, you got your 
all that still works perfectly. You got uh, just a little cool stuff like the keyless entry Ford tag it looks like. Um, this was uh, with the glove box, it kind of talks about some of the track bolts and stuff. Um, that probably was underneath the seat and fell off at one time. But it's kind of cool, it still says, you know, April 06, 1994. Um, you can see, which is cool, this is the Marty report, you know, order received March of 94, bucked 413th, so kind of backs up with that little piece of paperwork. Um, Evergreen Ford, and you can see it's got the body side and wheel up moldings, remote keyless entry, all that cool stuff. Only 214 yeah, with this paint code. Um, so it's kind of, kind of a rare one for this year. And, you know, 355 linen slip, all that cool stuff. You got your original brochures. It's got the Ford truck one plus the actual one specifically for the F-Series, which is really cool to talk about the interior and all the different trims. And then, of course, you got your Haynes or your Chilton's manual to go with it. Um, so you can see the seat's in nice shape, you know, no, no smoking, no marks. Plastics are all really nice. I mean, the rear seat, I mean, it's super clean. It's got a couple little marks right here, but a lot of times that'll be just because uh, people won't put these seat belts back in here, and so this extra one will just sit right here, and people put stuff on there. Um, you can see you got your little cup holders that come out. They're not broken. Carpet's in nice shape. Again, you know, you got some little darking areas, but uh, if you're real crazy and real meticulous and you need to, I would definitely not say this needs new carpet, but if you want to be crazy about it, um, they're really cheap. You can get it for like 300 bucks. And this is a push button automatic, so you don't have to deal with the transfer case shifter. But again, I would never ever think this thing needs to replace car, but it's in really nice shape. But even you look along the hood, there's no dings, you know, anything like that. It's got the five liter fuel injected. You know, it's also a mass airflow truck. Uh, we had serpentine belt done, oil change, cap, rotor, uh, plugs. Um, the battery was replaced in 17. You know, they got rid of those. We got rid of those little tiny 5 6, you know, the small um, clamps that are 5 16, so that just tend to go bad. It's got a very small exhaust leak um, up near the this side, I think, where the manifold meets the exhaust. And uh, you, you'll kind of hear that. It kind of dissipates as it gets warmed up. But you can still see it's still got shine on the hood hinge. Bolts have never been messed with. This isn't broken. A lot of times people might put their knee on this and it'll pop this off and it'll be sagging down. Um, but you know, we leave our trucks uh, in their, what I like to call their honest condition. You know, we don't throw armor all, armor all spray all over the place. Um, you can see the under the uh, hood lights working. But we try to make sure everything's working on there. But we don't get them steam cleaned or nothing. Just show that, hey, you can see how this thing's been cared for. You know, replaced items as needed. Uh, truck drives really good so you can kind of you know if we leave them the way that their natural state you can kind of tell the way the truck's been cared for if it's 20 25 30 years uh, rather than you throw armor all spray up and a bunch of spray paint down below and then you kind of wonder how it looked before that so um so all right um i think we went over everything on this thing um you know everything works everything's there everything's really tight uh, it's got the automatic hubs we're going to do a driving video and uh, we'll do a cold start video also. So good luck everybody and uh, we'll chat with you soon. All right, we got our uh, sweet little 94 F-150 uh, up in the air. It's only got 115,000 miles. It's got all original paint on it. It's just a beautiful truck. Uh, we just took one side off because the other side's the same and we don't want to bore you guys or make it go too long. So you can see lots of shoes left on the life of the brew brakes. Uh, no leaks or anything like that. You can see inside the drums are in really nice condition. Uh, BFG, K the uh, KOs look, I mean, like they have new tread. Um, they have a DOT code of 2014, you can see there. I'll just take you inside this truck, is this super clean. It's nice and dry and rust free. You know, you have some, you know, some surface rust on the frame. You know, they didn't really have any undercoating. Some of these catalytic converter and exhaust, kind of your typical stuff. But you can still see the decal, no spray paint. Uh, front differential service not too long ago you can see the front brakes were done not too long ago you know calipers you know if you don't paint them this is what happens to them looks like the rotors were new also automatic hubs all that stuff works you can still see the tag on the coil spring it's really nice and clean 
you know you got your surface rust down here you know a lot of original parts i beams you get a little bit of surface rust but this thing's really dry and clean um you know of course you got all your oil changes you know the starter was replaced not too long ago um, there's no leaking down here this thing's been stored inside uh, really dry around the pan of the transmission you can see you know a little bit of dirt you know from road grind but we don't steam clean these things and make them look like something they're not but you, you can still see the writing on the transmission mount got the tag on the boot there all the u-joints are nice and tight take you around that body mount you know, it's got aftermarket exhaust you know a little bit of surface rust on that it has some you know chrome tips that are a little bit surface rusty because you no pinion seal leak anything like that uh, just a really cool truck a little bit of dirt and ground but you can see the brakes same situation as the other side you know, I got a little bit of surface the bushing right here you know could use replacing and the core support looks like it's pretty dried out but it's you know fresh coolant, all that stuff. This thing's really ready to go. Take you underneath the bed. You know it's got the tonneau cover. Get nice cab corners. You can see the original two-tone paint. I mean, just super clean. So all right, so we got a you know cold start video, running and driving video. You can see the rear diff. You know, no brakes leaking, no axle seals leaking. Nice clean rear tank. So hopefully you guys, there's a little over 300 photos, hopefully you guys, but if you need something specific, if you want a different video or different photos, just let me know and uh, we'll get those over to you guys. So good luck, this is going at no reserve.